Hello there, Virgo. Welcome. Well, this is going to be a mid-April 2022 love reading. So what is happening here? Let's see. What's going on for you? We're starting out with justice. Okay, Libra energy. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. So they're really kind of trying to figure out how they can balance things out with you. And then wishing well is crossing you here. There's a lot of excitement in there. You're awakening a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. Ooh, you're changing things. That's why they want to be fair with you. Okay, and then uh, general energy around you is family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Okay, so you brought you brought up differently. So then you, you see things differently. So everything seems different to you. Okay, that makes it a little challenging. And then the recent past, we have coldness. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you that they're worth keeping. So that's the energy, them feeling you pulling away. See, once you pull away, that's when they come in. <laughs> And crowning you, we have building an empire. They see how their focus on material things haven't made them happy, only holding them back from love. Okay, they're too focused on their their work, their career. They weren't focused on their love life. Okay, coming in for you guys is coming apart. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their own identity. Ooh. Yeah, you changed them. And then we have Dark Knight. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love and themselves and this connection. Well, they're going through the Dark Knight of the Soul, that means. And then we have Anxiously Waiting. They search for you in everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they'll run into you. Okay, that's how they feel about you. That's how they see you. They want to see you, and they're not seeing you. Okay, and then we have Past Life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew your, you were the one they've been waiting for. That card hardly ever comes up. I don't know if I've even seen that card. I have this deck for a long time. <laughs> okay, now we have energy cores. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cores that is keeping you two connected. This is up coming up in the possible um, outcome. And then we have separation. They're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. Okay, now they're feeling sorry for themselves, and I think that should shift. Okay, now we have the mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and to be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Okay, the bottom deck we have mixed signals. That's what it felt like that with that separation card, because everything else felt good. And it says, the cloudy space between hot and go cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they, they're into you or not. I think they're into you. They're just scared. <laughs> okay. Who wants to sneak out over here? What's this card? Endings. They enter your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now they're part in your story is over. Now it's going to be true for some of you. That's why the, That would be why you would get mixed signals. If they're just there for you to, to push you in the right direction. And even if they had to... Sometimes the, the hardest... The hardest challenges, the hardest things we go through are actually the things that push us into a better life. Okay, now let's see. Why do we have justice here? Why is justice here for Virgo? We have, ooh, the high priestess. And this is your energy. This is Cancer and Virgo. Hidden knowledge. See, you know things and they know you know things that, and you're very intelligent. And there's this very strong connection too but i think it kind of scares them too that you do know things you're aware of, of what's hidden if they try to hide things they can't hide things from you okay what about this wishing well this is a very intuitive card the high priestess okay the chariot charging ahead okay this person plans to charge ahead this is a, a cancer energy moving things forward quickly because they're so excited and the family tree why do we have the family tree here King of Pentacles, stable. Okay, so you, they either see you this way or you see them this way. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns, you are um, an earth sign. I think they do see you pretty stable. You're not, yeah, you're not too sure about them. This feels more like trying to get a feeling from the card. This feels more like your energy. They're feeling you as being very stable. And they're not used to that in their life. 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, what about the coldness? The coldness in the recent past. Ace of Swords, breakthrough and awareness. Yeah, you might, because you cut them out, and that was a coldness here. You know, because they feel that, that, and you're breaking through, you're, you have awareness, you're growing, you're, you're expanding, and they can feel it. They can feel you pulling away. And you want the truth, too, and they know that. Building an empire. But they know they can't hide the truth from you, too, because you are the high priestess. Scares them. <laughs> Building an empire. Let's see. Three of swords, heartache. Yeah, this is what broke you guys up. Because someone was focused on their money. That's the third party situation. Someone must focus more on their material wealth than they were on their love life. And that is a third party. So that was nice and easy. <laughs> okay. Coming part. King of Cups. Emotional mastery. Yeah, someone's getting into their emotions. They're, they have a lot of love and, and affection for you. And it probably scares them. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be any sign. But that just represents that someone has a lot of emotion for you. What about this Dark Knight? We have the Ten of Cups. Com contentment and joy. See, they're, per they're going through this because they know you can bring this to them. And no one else can. You can bring this Ten of Cups to them. So they're willing to go through the Dark Knight of Soul to get it to be with you anxiously waiting okay let's see what's going on with this card we have seven of cups fantasy and temptation here because this is they never had anything like what they have with you they fantasize about you a lot you are their temptation you are you are what they can't let go of what about this past life card Two of Wands, planning and decision. <clears throat> yeah, they're trying to plan how to do things with you, to get to you. <clears throat> to be with you, I should say. <clears throat> See, they want to talk. Here goes my throat. <clears> throat> I'm so sorry. I have time they have to... Oh, jeez. <clears throat> they need to talk to you. Okay. So, they, you're the one they're waiting for. They're planning. They're trying to make decisions. They're strategizing here. Okay, what about these energy cords? You know about these energy cords coming up in the possible outcome here yeah so they're breaking away from things that don't serve them to come towards you this is moving away from rough waters to come some something better you could also be moving away from something rough to go to something better here with this um six of swords this is travel this could be going on vacation too you could be moving you could be moving where you work um changing location changing jobs but that is there is moving ahead for you you're you're changing into something ahead and it's gonna be nice and what about this separation? Yeah, see, this separation, see, see this, this separation, as soon as it came out, it did not feel right. Because universal alignment, son, you make them happy. They might be, it's just like, feels like they're saying they want this separation or they they feel they should be in separation, but it's not true. This is what makes them happy, the sun, Leo energy. Okay, well, how about the mask? Why is the mask here? death transition yeah there's got ending to this hiding and the truth's going to come out so this is the transition this scorpio energy this is ending for new beginnings transition transformation there's major major change this is the last card a possible outcome that's what's happening there's a major change coming in your life and three of cups you're going to be celebrating something here three of cups good times ahead celebration nice okay now let's see what the word is before i forget because when i don't do these all the time i forget to do them okay the first one is the King of Pentacles. What's the word on the King of Pentacles? At least you got kings. So that's nice. We have sincere, marry, together, immature. Okay. Now, I, I know for someone I'm getting that someone whether it's you or them, was in an immature marriage or was married to someone that was immature, but you guys are sincere together. Or the fact is, they sincerely want to marry and be together with you, but it might be immature to do it at this time. Or it was immature to do it in the past. But they do want to be married to you. Okay, let's see what we have for the King of Cups. What's the, what's the scoop on the King of Cups, please? Those are the only ones we have to do today. Okay, we have caring after options. Ooh. 
New start. Okay. So maybe you guys went through your options now. And now and now you feel, this is the one that you really care about. So you want a new start now. That's the way I'm putting that. If you want to switch it around, go ahead and move them around the way it fits for you. All right, guys. Now let's see what signs we are dealing with. Okay. What signs are we dealing with for Virgo? Cancer. Virgo. Scorpio. Pisces. We got all the water there. Sagittarius and Taurus. So the signs that could be placement in your chart, placement in your person chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, or future people. We have Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Now for the letters. 11 letters. This initials. First name, last name. And, and you get the first and the last and the middle comes up. Hey, even better. Past, present, or future people. M. H. F. C, F, Y, B, Y, X, R, U. It's, you know, it's really weird when I was doing this. I never had before, but Magnificent came out. And I mean, it's not there, but I, I heard the word from my guy saying Magnificent. That makes sense to anybody. So, that's why I heard in my ear. So here are the letters for today. M H F C F Y B Y X R U. Okay. Now, 11 names. Let's see what the names are that want to come out today. Okay, Spirit, what names do we need today? What are the names for us? What are the names for Virgo? Come on. Come on, somebody hop out. Okay, got to stop there. I think that's more than enough. We have Christina with a K. We have Shantara, S-H-A-T-A-R-A, -A -A, Heather, Danielle, Leslie, Darlene, Emil, E-M-E-L. We have Louise. Alan, Helen, Dara, D-A-R-A, -A, and Sharice, S-U-R-I-S-H. Okay, 12 today. Okay, only one over. That's not bad. Okay, guys. Remember, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. It may resonate. It may not. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. I love to read your comments. And I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I love you guys so much. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.